Hey YouTube, it's Amy. This is Proof of Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Wednesday vlogger. And today is Thursday. Wednesday was busy for me. Um, I wasn't here last week. I was. Um, I had uh, my eyeliner tattooed. I don't know if you guys can see it, but anyways, um, I love it, and it hurt. <laughs> This is the first time I'm looking at the question. So the question is, what does your weight loss maintenance mean to you? Are you in maintenance mode? Is it different, easier, same as losing mode? How so? Do you still care about your weight and maintenance or why or why not? Well, yes, I am in maintenance mode. I've actually been in maintenance longer than uh, my weight loss period. Um, I have been in maintenance uh, three years and one month now since I hit my goal. Um, it's not easy. No. Uh, I follow an 80-20 rule and my 80% of the time is spot on. Protein first, nothing, not, nothing uh, unhealthy, super clean. Um, all my water, all my fitness, um, I try to get at least three hours of fitness in every week. Um, as you guys know, I'm a runner, um, and I run a lot. Uh, this last week I had a marathon, or a half marathon. This week I have a 5K, then next week I have another half. So, uh, yeah, I get my fitness in. Um, do I care about my weight? Absolutely, I care about my weight. Um, I've learned, though, that I can retain water from certain foods, and I can also retain water after um, a half marathon or uh, extreme fitness. So I have a range. I have a maintenance range. I try to stay in the 150s um, for me. That is good. I'm almost 5'10". Um, I have a medium build, and for me, when I was sick, I got down under 145, and I actually didn't like the way my body looked. I'm very happy with the way I am now. I'm wearing anywhere between a size 2 and a size 6, depending on the cut. Um, and I do see when I'm retaining water or I'm up a couple pounds, my weight doesn't go to the same place it, it used to because um, because I had plastic surgery and it goes into my thighs and I don't like that so um, obviously if my pants are tight in my thighs then I know I need to cut out my 20% of bad um, is maintenance the same as the weight loss no because you still have to keep your eye on your goal. You still need to keep your eye on the scale, um, but you don't have to be as strict. I did track everything I ate. Um, sorry, I'm on my knees because I wanted you guys to see my tree. Um, oh, I got something else I'll show you guys. I got some new ornaments. Uh, and, you know, my maintenance now is about fun, fitness, and and uh, enjoying um, things other than food. That is, um, and this is kind of part of that. My running buddy, Erica, which I trained her to run starting this year in February. And she ran seven halves this year, seven, her first year running. She could not run at all. Oh, when we started. So I am very, very proud of her. She got me these. I don't know if you can see it. It's 13.1 half marathon for my Christmas tree. And my 26.2. Yep. So I'm excited to put those on my tree for this year. Um, I do suggest... For those just going into maintenance, do not stop tracking your food. I think I tracked my food for two and a half years every day after I hit maintenance. 
Uh, now I do every so often, but I know exactly what's in everything because I tracked everything so long. I think people make the mistake of not tracking in the beginning because they feel, oh, I'm losing without tracking. I, sh I don't need to. But it's not just, um, you know, a tool. Tracking is not just a tool to help you lose the weight. It's to help you educate yourself about food and what's in food. And then when you come to those decisions, um, at the end of the day, you know, chicken sandwich or hamburger, this or that, this or that, you're going to know what's in it. And you're going to know how many calories you burned in the gym and how many calories you just ate. And it's going to give you more power to answer those questions in your head. Should I eat that third cookie? Should I eat that fourth cookie? Because that number is piling up in your head if you know. So really key is tracking. Um, another thing about maintenance, your calories in maintenance are still going to be lower than the average person that's your size. Your metabolism has extremely slowed down because of the massive weight loss and you have to rebuild your muscle mass. I can now eat anywhere between 14 and 1600 calories and be fine. Um, when I was first in the maintenance, it still had to be 1,100, 1,200 calories. Uh, so I've built up a lot of um, muscle and my metabolism is, has rose, but it took a long time to do that. I know in the past when I lost weight before and I gained it, it came back, it came back so quick because I went to back to eating normal and you, you will never eat normal again. Um, even if you can eat small portions throughout the day, you can still eat those calories. It can still pile up, and you really have to watch that. You really have to watch grazing and snacking. Plan those meals. That's about all I got for you guys. I love maintenance. Um, I will be in maintenance forever. I will always be getting on that scale. There will not be one week of my life I don't get on that scale. So, see you all next week.